Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. UltiLeague.net We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a f <laughs> football. Huge layout block, unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. I was called Electric, become a member. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, now, team. Good afternoon, maybe even good evening now that we're in the middle of winter. Welcome back 
to EUIC, the European Ultimate Indoor Championships. One semi-final in the way, and if you haven't watched that yet, spoiler alert, cover your ears for 10 seconds. Belgium will be one of the participants for it's the bronze medal match for Latvia. Who will they be facing? That is the question. Will it be Finland or will it be Ukraine? Differing tournaments in terms of results. We'll start with the Finns. Strong win over Turkey, 17-5. They went down to the Netherlands, 17-13. But a 17-4 win over Denmark. Finished the pool before a tight four, 17-15 win over Sweden earlier today. For Ukraine, a very inauspicious start to the tournament. Went down 17-15 to Great Britain and 16-14 to Sweden. But a 13-11 win over Latvia too meant that it was a three-way tie for second place behind Sweden in that pool. And because Ukraine had the best points difference overall from by virtue of doing best against the Swedes, they made the quarterfinals with maybe the shock of the tournament so far, a 14-13 win over the Netherlands. And it was a hell of a game. Had one point gone the other way, Ukraine could have not even had the chance to be in the quarterfinals. As it is, they are 45 minutes away from playing for a gold medal, but this Finnish side is not going to go down lightly, as you saw in their game against Sweden when the Swedes were on top early. But Finland slowly and surely clawed their way in front to a lead that they would not surrender. Keep an eye out for Nini for the Finns. Seven assists, 17 goals, 19 assists and four goals for Tommy Sandberg for Ukraine. The 54, Dima Cholkin, 12 assists, 16 goals. He's one to look out for as that pass into the floor. Ukraine will try and recover. Just outside the end zone. Finns wanting to break on the first point here. Vaninen over the top. And the drop from Leto. Had it in his hands. And then it wasn't. Sasha Danilia. Blading over the top there, Andrichuk finding Zavalenko, another key player. Zavalenko across to Hobatia. Andrichuk looking, knifing, finding Zavalenko. Daniliak, all oh, that spicy, but good long arms coming in handy for Zavalenko. Daniliak. Oh, down the sideline. He could have led. Chalking into more space, I think. But as it is, a couple of defenders there. I think Varnanen got the decisive touch. Leto. Back to Vorio. Finns just keeping things cool. Maybe stereotypically. Vorio coming high to catch the knife. Now they're going with a little bit of pace. The defender's back is turned. And the Finns take advantage. First score of the game is a break for Finland. Leto into the end zone for Varninen. And they take a 1-0 lead. It's maybe a little bit of rust, maybe some nerves for both sides. I have to try and... I don't know if you can ever entirely quash them. But feed off them, utilise them.
catching the ball in the white headband, the 92, Vladislav Horbatyuk. Zavalenko, underneath to Cholkin. Knifing it to Zavalenko, now Horbatyuk. Showed it over to Sholkin instead, swinging around the back. Andrichuk coming underneath. Oh, defender was shaken out of his boots. And Andrichuk duly punches it in to Horbatyuk. One apiece. What a story it would be if Ukraine could make the final with all the trauma and turmoil back home. I think regardless of what happens, everyone at the EUIC plays for Ukraine. Even the Finns in some respect. But that doesn't mean that they will take them lightly because for the Finns, the gold medal is a very real possibility at this stage. And when they didn't even top the pool, that seemed unlikely as well. Hammers put away in the toolbox. And the knife down the sideline works just as well. Sivo to Sandberg for the score. We mentioned that we usually see Sandberg distributing rather than collecting goals. But that doesn't mean that he's a slouch in the end zone. Our TTV and our Zoom TV colleagues at three venues today. You can watch all the games for free on the Ulti TV YouTube channel. Here's a shot over the top and it's a little bit too far. Was trying to track it down there was Zavalenko. Paul Batyuk overthrew it slightly. Just tell you what's going on in those other games. The next suitable break between points. Motoring underneath. Catching the disc there for the Finns. Varnanen into the end zone for Leto. Returning the favour from earlier. 3-1. Finland starting this game strong. They don't care about your narratives. By which I mean my narratives. Three semi-finals on at the moment. Sweden, Great Britain in the women's division over at Costa with Hannah Pendlebury. Second mixed semi-final as well at Garlevar. Christina Obermeyer calling Finland again against Estonia. Highly recommend triple streaming. That's a beautiful hammer over the top. Pinpoint into the pause. Vladislav Zavalenko catching to make it 3-2. Ukraine back within one. But down a couple of breaks, having started the game on offense. Hobartyuk's right open, and when you get a player who can throw the disc like he can, no pressure at all. He can slice and dice you. As Paul drops down, caught by the sideline in the end zone by Sivo. Hittonen. Sandberg, has he judged this? And I think he's judged it beautifully to Nini, getting his first goal of the game. I think Vladislav Daniliak was telling to his teammates that he just didn't see that it was up. He didn't get the communication. Never heard to look round. And that's exactly the way Sandberg wants it. Keep dropping those over the head. Catching him off guard.
Sasha Daniliak over the top. Horbachir goes up and receives. Cholkin. Finland done a good job of keeping him quiet early in the piece. Andrichuk to Zavalenko. Rising stall. Just a little break to Horbachir. Andrichuk now charging underneath. Doesn't like the option of Daniliak. Ukraine very congested in their own end zone and that creates the pick. There's no vertical element to their offense at this point. Andrichuk, finally they're out of their own end zone. Sky high blade over the top. Daniliak. Andrichuk. Oh, that's a little bit of a reception. What a reception by Horbatyuk. And he's thinking about the hammer into the end zone. Very crowded. He's got a wide open dump if he wants it. Andrichuk comes through in support as well. He's going for the scuba. And it's not the most beautiful scuba I've ever seen, but it got to the space well, and Cholkin will gratefully receive it. And Ukraine close to 4-3. Here's the replay. He just sees that he's got that step on the brake side, pivots out, puts it into that space. And the defender's left eating dust. Heaton and lets the pull drop before fielding it. Slightly unusual decision, given that you can't really be dinged for a drop pull. Expansive fakes from the lefty. Throwing and going up line. Elonemo. Sivo. Oh, defender overbites in the backfield. That gives Sandberg the opportunity to put the hammer to Nini. How many times have those two connected this tournament? And the tournament's through the years. 5-3 to the Finns. Horbachuk catching the pull. Andrichuk is the first option underneath. I think they might take this swing across the pitch they do with the scuba. Zavalenko. Andrichuk coming underneath. Again the scuba coming out. Good communication. Cholkin bails to allow Zavalenko to catch and then rip it to Sasha Daniliak for the score. No ego involved in that one. It's a much more difficult catch for Cholking tracking it over his head than it's for Zavalenko coming in. So he bails on it, clears the space, and that frees the scuba down the break side for the score. Finland still up 5-4, but Ukraine have found their rhythm now. Nini. Back to Elonemo. There's the lefty using that change of angle to blade down that far sideline. Back to Hittinen. Sandberg. A bit of a clip of the ankles. Nothing untoward though. Ukraine. Sagging off very deep, trying to stop the one-on-one -on -one matchups in the end zone if they can. Sivo. He was looking for it. Sandberg, my word, what a hammer that is. So high, but read so well by Nini. 
if Ukraine can't find a way to stop the Sandberg to Nini connection. This is Finland's game. Hobertyuk's bricking the pull. I think he's marshalling Andrzejczyk to get him exactly where he wants him. He can be more aggressive with that if he's poached. And Andrzejczyk, all that is not good. It's a difficult shot. We're trying to get that blade tight to that far sideline. And he overthrew it. And did not give Zavalenko a chance. Miscommunication deep, but it's an overthrow. Ukraine maybe get away with one there because they had 2 1 1. But they overthrew it as well. Not Hatari's finest moment. Robertyuk over the top with the hammer to Zavalenko. Trying to get it into Cholkin. Squeezing it in there. Now leading it down the line. Excellent read. Leto peeling off the back to pick it away. And Finland on the turn are deadly this time. Moving it quickly. Keeping the defense on their heels. Lennonen to Vanenen makes it 7 4 to Finland, building a little bit of a gap now. Their third break of the game. Ukraine still to get one. Ukraine have been broken every time they've turned it over. Not necessarily on the first possession, but on that point. Cholkin. Screaming for it on the far side is Horbatyuk. Andrichuk. A couple of assists to his name. Squeezing that one down the sideline. Cholkin's open underneath. Horbatyuk stole a march on his defender. Angle wasn't quite there for the shot though. Lovely little feathered inside flick. Playing 1 2 outside the end zone. Bouncing it out. Three of them in there now. It's very cluttered and congested. And <laughs> he pops that one cheekily over the head of Wario. Horbatyuk. He's looking for Cholkin in the end zone. And Cholkin catches for the score. Ukraine needed that one 7-5 need to try and find ways to get Cholkin going. I say that, like he hasn't caught three goals, but I still feel like his impact has been lessened somewhat by the Finnish defenders. That ball lands out of bounds, didn't come through that box, so he's going to be bricked. Sivo from the brick mark. Let to find ways to turn the finish offence. And Sandberg had his hand up in apology, but Nini had the defender boxed out, and he flips to Elon Emo for the goal.
You see there, he was going for the foot block and uh, got there late, so he kicks the hand of Sandberg and apologizes straight away afterwards. As that, Paul is going to take the edge and come back in bounds. Daniliak trying to get the isolation and the hammer. Big man goes up and gets it, Zavalenko. Ooh, just testing the reach there of Dan Iliuk. Andrichuk trying to blade over the top, and that is some grab. Leninen looks around agonizingly, as if he can't quite understand how he didn't get it. A spicy shot from Andrichuk, but it paid off. He had his man beat all ends up, but there was always the risk that another defender would be able to poach in there. Leinonen played that role, but he got mossed. Sivo from the back of the end zone to Sandberg. That looks suspiciously like a pick in the center of the field, and indeed it is. Dirk Aps went in to check in on the mark. Elonemo, Sandberg with the scuba to space. And who's receiving it? Of course, it's Nini. The scoreboard reads 6 9. Finland, you have to say, have played nicely. Taking a 9 6 half time lead. Sandberg registering his fourth assist there, and he's got a goal as well. Fanini, it's the reverse. One assist and four goals. They just have not been able to shut those two down so far, the Ukrainians. And they are paying for it. Just under halfway through the time as well. Have a look at some of the first half highlights there. Two more games still to come from the Open Division here in Prunai, the seventh place and fifth place games. So first up, the seventh place game sees Poland as they take on Sweden. And in the fifth place game, it's Lithuania versus the Netherlands. And I said that, I think that's right. I might have to go and double check my working now. It is Sweden versus Poland and Lithuania versus the Netherlands. Few. Two other semi finals going on at the moment in the women's division Sweden against Great Britain, and in the mixed division, Finland against Estonia. Second half underway with Finland receiving as well. Chance to extend that lead. Sandberg, oh, came out of his hands, I think, a little bit zippier and longer than perhaps he wanted, but it was caught regardless. Nini, back to Sandberg, slicing up the field. Sandberg, and he slipped a little bit in his cut. But they couldn't stop Hittonen. 10-6 now. Is the game slipping away from Ukraine? Still finds Chalkin. 
Cholk into the end zone, finds Zavalenko. First time we see the Ukraine offense take the field in the second half. And they get the job done. Finland's offense still yet to turn it over. The Ukrainian D-line has to find a way of generating more pressure. Nini. Back to Sandberg. Sandberg shooting deep. And for the first time this game, he is not perfect. He is human after all. Hitanen was the target and he overthrew him. going to fall to Vladislav Daniliak to bring the disc in. Has to go backwards and struggle to get free downfield. Squeezes that one through to Shipanov. And many of you will have seen look for his photography work around Europe. Julie high across to Shipanov. Vilchinski, back to Chuli. Sees the window through to Durkacz. Down the line to Shipanov. First break of the game for Ukraine. And it's Durkacz to Shipanov. Ukraine are not done yet. Here's the replay for you. Sees that little pocket of space. Shipanov splits the defenders. You see there the point. Cover that space. Hitanen gets it too late. And Shipanov exploits it. Ball drops well. Hitanen carving up underneath Elon Amo. Sandberg not out there at this point for the Finns. Nini. Short, just of the end zone. Varnanen. Elonemo. Hitanen. Varnanen. Advancing. Oh, it's a spicy scuba. I think his foot landed on the back line. It did indeed. <laughs> Knifing over the top. Squeezes up through to Shipanov, leading it out into space. For Vlad Daniliak. High. Oh, magnificently caught by Zavalenko. And Cholkin knew that he would. And he provides the backup for another break for Ukraine. Zavalenko to Cholkin. It's 10 9. Three on the spin now for the Ukraine. This is just. The implicit, which is not even implicit at that point, you can see it's very explicit trust. It's right out there in Zavalenko. And he pops it to Cholkin. Zavalenko, two assists and three goals. He's beginning to warm up. And Finland taking the time out because the offense that was flawless in the first half has started to show some fractures, maybe. Not massive fissures just yet. But you're seeing the cracks starting to emerge. And Ukraine are burrowing into them.
There was that first break for Ukraine. Here's the second. The trust knife handled by Zavalenko and Cholkin backs up. I feel like maybe the Finns missed Sandberg that point. Despite his overthrow on the previous possession, he's been so sure-handed normally. Ball to the back of the end zone by Hittinen. Looking for Nini downfield. Nini, oh, with the blade. There was a little bit of space for Sandberg, but that was a monster. And he was never going to get there. It's not that Ukraine have started to get blocks now. I don't think I've actually counted any as blocks for Ukraine. I think it's more that Finland have lost their way slightly. Those shots that were so true in the first half, a little off target as Shipanov has to go to the floor, but does secure possession. And not really seeing anything he likes. Just gets rid of it on the high stall. Or it's burgled. And Nini, he intercepted that one, but did he land on the back line? He did. A couple of Swedish players by the end zone confirming. Another opportunity for Ukraine. Unorthodox backhand blade, but it works. Chuli throws it into the floor. Just need a little bit more composure, I think. The Ukrainian D-line. And actually, one of the Finnish players on the sideline, Foreo, is calling for the same. But for Finland's offense, Sandberg. Up line cut, should go. Squeezed in there. Everyone just checking that Wilczynski's okay as he hit the sideline hard. But Sandberg jams it in the jam hole to Jano Sivo for the score. They couldn't tack on another break, the Ukraine. But they are generating pressure. And the Finnish offense is feeling it a little bit. Obertuk, all alone for a while. Now he's charging off deep. Zavalenko doesn't want it though. Swinging to Sasha Daniliak. Cholkin. Diminutive Dima Cholkin. It is such a live wire. Catches very close to his back line. I'm not sure they could get any further back without having to tow it in. Nice scuba to access the break space. Continuation downfield. Orbitier. Vaniliak having it back for Andrichuk. A high one. Into traffic. And Finland and one of those breaks back and extend their advantage. Thrown into a very dangerous area by Andrzejczuk. I weren't really looking for it. And Varninen punches it in. Pekka Kunanen with the score. 12-9 now. Horbatyuk. Andrichuk wants to motor underneath. Stall count rising. Knifing it over the top. Well caught. Just getting that straight out of the hands there, Damiak. Doesn't really care how. And another miscommunication. Zavalenko throwing to no one and going down the other end. Zavalenko's getting it back. What a way to make amends. Atari had no force, tried to take advantage, 
But the big man Zavalenko swatted it away. Cholkin. Here's Vladislav Daniliak playing on offense instead of Sasha. Back in play. Stall out called. Daniliak thinks he got it off. I'm not sure what the stall was when it came back in. Contested stall. In on six. It wouldn't surprise me if they just try and put it up there. It's exactly what they do. Horbachuk toes the line magnificently. He wants the scuba over to Andrichuk and he forced it. And it flew through the back of the end zone. Oh, very nearly lost the replacement disc. Not the first time we've seen that happen. Here's the deep shot. That time, Atari gets it right and plays to the finish sideline. Vanenen catching his third goal. Is that the dagger through Ukrainian hearts? And the Ukrainians mount another spirited fight back. Everyone starts downfield except Horbachuk catching the pull. Cholking. Horbachuk clearing through. Over the top to Sasha Daniliak. He's looking for Horbachuk. Brilliantly done. And Sasha Daniliak is trying to pump up his teammates there. You can see how much this means to him. And I'm sure it means the same to his teammates as well. Just want to get the energy going, get the good vibes back. I mean, there's no doubt in his mind what he's doing when he catches this. He sees the option develop, and rather than just go sideways, his pivot is slightly backwards because it allows him to really whip it around the mark, and he delivered it bang on. Hitting and catching the pull. Finish for to start this possession, just swinging it around the back. Nothing too dramatic. Sivo fakes the hammer, but not really interested. A little offhand backhand there to Elon Hamer. It's not even offhand, he's a lefty. How did I not pick that up? There's Sandberg, there's Nini. Seven assists now for Sandberg along with a goal and a turnover. But when you throw seven assists, I think you probably let one slide. Fanini, four, maybe five goals now. An assist, a block, but a couple of turns as well.
Hobartier catching the pole. Choking, reading the hammer over the head of the defender Vanenen. Just a little nod. If you get the trajectory of this right, it's going to take him out of it. And that's exactly what happened. It's not necessarily vertical separation, it's the lateral separation. It gets down this near sideline. And it gives the window to drop the hammer in over the top. Elonemo off line. Shipanov intercepting. Pick downfield, I think. Horbatiuk. Still rising. Over the head of the defender, Sivo. Now popped off to Chuli. Oh, what a snag. Horbatiuk. Back to Durkac. Knifing down the sideline to Shipanov. Shipanov wants the hammer over the top and he's got it as well. With the defender on the floor, just sits this to space. Don't know how good a view of it Sandberg got, or whether he's just swiping based on judgment and timing. Put Horvatuk under pressure, but not enough. A minute and a half before cap. Blade over the top. What a blade over the top as well. Sandberg dealing eight assists now. This one dropping it into Hotari for his first score of the game. <laughs> Ukraine cannot really afford to let Finland score because it takes them out of that three-point margin that allows the cap to be played. High stall, blade goes deep. That's unreal. Savalenko tracked that so well. Came over two players, one of them his own teammate, and just put it up to the big man. Andrichuk, cheeky little pen knife over the top to Savalenko for the score. If in doubt, it's not a bad option to go to. You cannot teach tool, as they say. Believe me, I've tried to learn. Actually, that's not true. I haven't really. But I'm told that you can't. There's the Hooter. So we'll finish this point. And then add one for the cap score. So it's going to be 14-15, game to 16. Or 16-13, game to 17. Hittenden's got no force. Has time to pick out the option. No surprise that it's Sandberg. Nini downfield. Ooh, Nini sees that roll curving flick. To Sivo. 16-13. Game to 17. This cut takes off from deep. Durkacz just takes a little bit of time to flip those hips and get up to speed, by which point Sivo's already beyond him. Horbatuk <laughs> doesn't like the look of Cholkin, just putting it up for Zavalenko. Back to Cholkin.
scubering into traffic. Cholkin picked off. Vorio doing the damage with the interception. Kinnunen wants players to come out of the end zone. Leto showing it. Kinnunen. Vorio. Kinnunen. Hatari with the toe tap. And it is Finland in the final. Here's the replay of the final score. Just a little swing to Kinnunen, keeping the disc moving. And eventually, Ukraine just ran out of legs, ran out of juice. And Finland with a 17-13 victory will play Belgium in the final tomorrow. For the Ukraine, it's third place against Latvia. Two more games here in Prinai to come this evening. First, the seventh place game. Sweden up against Poland before the Netherlands and Lithuania play to see we'll take fifth. Can take a little bit of a breather now, give you 15 minutes before the next game starts. So on behalf of all of our Zoom TV and Alti TV crew, Benji Reese signing off. Final score here, Finland 17, Ukraine 13. Finland will play Belgium in the final tomorrow. We'll see you on the other side.
TV. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund our work. To cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. I'll be back to you. Your pretty face, but it seems so hard for you to know when you need space. I hope you find your peace and that you get a taste. Let yourself on.